Hi everyone, Giuliano here. In this video, I'll show you the new file experience in Microsoft Teams and the new sharing experience. But before to jump in, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss my next videos. Ok, let's jump on my PC and I'll show you every step. Here I am on my PC. Let's start to explore the first feature which involves files. Then let me click on the Files tab of this Team Global HR. We have several documents inside in this document library. So now what I want to show you is the ability to have metadata in this document library. So how I can do that because there's no plus button here where I can add more columns. So the approach now is to open SharePoint. So clicking on open in SharePoint, I have now the document library opened in SharePoint. What I can do now here basically is create a new column. Let's say that I want to have a new choice column and then I want to have a category for these, for these documents. Then I can specify the, the choices with some style. I can define the color. So for example, training, training. Then we have another one, which is on boarding. And finally we have presentation. You can even change the color here. Let's say that I want to change this one and then all good. So I will save now this new column and I can even add an additional column. So I want to have here um, an image which will be my thumbnail. Okay, let's save this one. And then I have now a thumbnail of the document now. Okay, let me fill out some data here and let me click on edit, edit grid view. Then I will fill some content here, training for example. Let's go with copy and paste. We are faster onboarding again on boarding and then let's say that this one is presentation presentation training and finally again on boarding okay i fill it out every items here on the category column then i can exit from the grid view so now this this list is filled out properly if I go back on Microsoft Teams and if I refresh this document library, I have all data available here. So this is an evolution of the, of the files tab in, uh, in Microsoft Teams. So you have the ability to work and to display metadata in a document library. I can change the view of this document library by clicking here on this drop down and then I can select tiles. And now the look and feel of this document library change in tiles. And I have a preview of the document or the image, basically a preview of the file. So now let's say that a file is very relevant for me. And what I can do here is click on this command bar on top and pin to top. So then this document will be pinned on top of this document library. In this way, when I have a lot of files, I will have a shortcut to open directly the most relevant files that I have in this document library. Let's say that I want to pin this other one. You have to select one, of course, and then again pin. So you can move right or unpin files. So for example, I want to have in the this one to the left in the first position so then I can move the second one to the right and I have now this presentation to the first position. I can of course switch back to list view and I have now these two presentation pinned on top.
Every changes that I made here are reflected in SharePoint. So if I open again the browser, I have here the documents library open it, I can refresh this page and we will see the same look and feel of Microsoft Teams. So we have the two files pinned on top. There is a very nice feature which is not new but I want to show you because it's so helpful and I'm talking about the ability to sync a document library to your local device. Previously I already clicked on this button and this means that I already synchronized this document library on my PC. So then I have just to open the Windows Explorer and then I have this special folder now synchronized and this is the team that I synchronize it and the channel general. So if I open now this folder, I have all files synchronized here. So you have to notice that I have here a cloud icon. This means that this is just a, a link. I am not taking space on my device for these files. So this is just a link. When I want to open this file, I can just double click on it and then I can open this file and here we go, we have this document already opened and if I switch back on the, on the folder now we can see that the icon is changed. We no longer have the cloud icon but we have a check icon. This means that now the file is downloaded and is taking space on my hard drive in my local device. But you know what? I can even click on the right button on the, on the mouse and then I can click on free hub space. So this will make free space on my hard drive and I will have just a link to this file. So when I have to work again on this file I can just double click and this file is downloaded on my machine. So this is a very great way to stay productive to work on your local system and bring forward your content. Here I am back on Microsoft Teams because it's time to show you the next feature which is the new sharing experience on Microsoft Teams. So let me click on posts. Now the sharing experience is Microsoft Teams respect in the same way OneDrive, SharePoint, Office 365 apps and Windows Explorer. This means that if I click on new conversation, I can attach a file here. If I click on recent, I have these three files. I can click on this one, for example, and then I have this button, share a link. If I click on share a link, I can share the link with the members of this team. And then I have a drop down here. I can click on it and this will open the same panel, very familiar, that we have seen in OneDrive, SharePoint and Office 365 apps. So here I can select or not allow editing, I can block download and then I can include people in your organization or only a global HR team. And then I can click on apply. So now I, I share this link Going forward now and clicking again on new conversation, I can attach a OneDrive file, for example. I can share this presentation that I have on my OneDrive space and clicking on share a link, I have the same experience that we have seen just some seconds before. So I can click again on only global HR, but then I will check allow editing because I want to collaborate with my team members on this presentation. So then I can type something here, check this presentation. And then if I go over this file, we can see that there is this link shared. Again, I can even share another file that I have on another team. So browsing now a new team and clicking on the arrow to go up. So I want to go through now the IT team in the general channel. I have some documents here. I can click on this image and then I can again share a link here. So I can share 
a file which is hosted in another team in another channel and again only global HR block download and apply all right that was a very quick tutorial how you can use the new file and the new sharing experience in Microsoft Teams if you enjoyed the video please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned with my next videos if you want to see me cover any other topics in the future put a comment down below I read them all and this is also how I build my to-do list for my next videos I hope to see you next time bye